Hello, all you people in YouTube land. It's a lovely day here today. We got a little bit of sunshine happening. And, uh, you have the smell of cedar burning in the air. I like that smell. Well, looks like my yard is ready for winter. But, my front project is not anywhere near being done. Well, near to be being done. I bought some screen to close off these holes. I don't know if you can see the holes, but there's some holes there. I'm going to keep as vent holes. <coughs> the siding should be going on very shortly. I, um, I had a plan. I don't know if it's going to work out. I'm going to try. Um, this is the smart side siding that I bought a few sheets of earlier this year. I'm going to cut some one foot strips for along the base here. And then the siding is going to come down and travel down six inches past onto the pressure treated plywood. So I'm trying to make it look like a full concrete foundation. That's why I got this. So anyways, hopefully it works out. Uh, yesterday in the rain, well, we've had four days of steady rain, so I haven't got much done. Um, yesterday in the rain, I tweaked up this beam up here. It had a, a bow to the beam and I didn't like it so I um, loosened that center post moved it in an inch which allowed me to close the two pieces of beam together and then I put in five lag bolts on either side of this post and hopefully that's uh, more than enough and what I need to keep this beam from separating I'm not expecting 2,000 pound snow load but if it ever does get to 2,000 pounds up there, it's not going to cave in on me, not with this. So today's job, I'm going to try and close this in with some fascia board. I've got uh, eight inch wide fascia board here. And because I'm using rough cut lumber and I'm not using pressure treated, I'm using inch and a quarter board, which is really heavy to maneuver when you're up in the air by yourself. Uh, I had some specialty cut 2x2's two two cut so I can fill in underneath the rafters between the posts and after the post and up to the rafter so that way when I put the fascia on the fascia sits nice and flat and there's no gap underneath for critters to get up underneath. Well, you know what I mean. But anyways, that's the project for today. I got my cedar sitting down here. This is all nicely plain cedar. I've got uh, eight six foot boards here. And I've got one, two, three, four, six twelve foot boards here. And that's gonna be for making my landing coming out the door and to make the ramp going up to the landing. So I got the material to do it. And I have to do that before I do the siding and the front. Because I have to cut the siding to an angle. As I'm nailing the ramp to the house and to the posts. So I don't need any other supports because this will be well supported. So that's the plan. After I upload this, I'm going to get to work. I'm loving it. It's coming together. It's almost finished. This will be the best work I've done yet so far on this house. 
and I love it. <laughs> uh, Alright YouTube, I'm keeping this side down as usual. Talk to you later.